Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So we are today going to finish up this little um, hinge journal made out of greeting cards. And I have made a little cover <clears throat> that'll go over it like this and tie on the front. And this does kind of meet up right in the middle about like that. Um, I've added a bulb pin with two jingle bells and a little heart or star charm there and my niece made that for me. Thank you, Bailey. And some ticking on there. So that's what will go around it. What we need, because I think I got most of this inside done, except, where is it? Right smack in the middle. Um, <clears throat> I need something to go in this coin envelope here. So I was going to make a tag. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and are happy and healthy and just having some fun crafting. And I want to thank you all for your awesome recipes and I cooking ideas. It's been fabulous. <clears throat> and I'll be trying some of those out soon. I'm going to do a big chicken tonight and then I'll probably make some... Um, chicken and wild rice soup that I got a recipe for. So thank you, thank you for that recipe. That was awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear a little bit off the top of this. <clears throat> okay, so that should fit, but we're gonna make sure it fits. And the cool part about these bags is they kind of have a gusset. I think I kind of glued it a little because, you know, putting it on there, I must have got a little glue over the sides. I may have to make it a little narrower, I think. I could probably get it in there, but it's not great. My cats are kind of tearing around. They're playing, but Jules doesn't um, really love Tasha a whole bunch, so a lot of the time she's just hissing at him, even though she's running and hiding and being goofy. She's She's kind of silly like that, and of course, he's completely silly, so. All right, so if you hear a commotion, that's probably what it is, because <laughs> everybody else is at work or school or what have you. So, yeah, I just spent the morning running errands and getting some stuff done. So I kind of feel a little frazzled. I don't know what it is. I am... Um, I don't love going out and shopping and stuff like that. It kind of just makes me frazzled. And the closer we get to the holidays, <clears throat> the kind of worse that gets because as we all know, it's just busier everywhere. And so I usually tend to do most of my shopping like early in the morning because I just get to where I can't even think if there's very many people around. Unfortunately, I'm just weird like that, I guess. <clears throat> So anyhow, I tried to get that done early this morning, but it always makes me a little, I don't know, discombobulated or something. All right, I'm just making room because I want to uh, move my mouse over off the book. All right, um, I got out a couple of just scraps and things that were left over from making this, So, um, and then I have these cute kids, and I thought that would be fun to put on this. So that was kind of a plan. I don't know how, but <clears throat> ink all over my table. I didn't even realize. All right, so let's go with and I think I'm going to make this <clears throat> little hinge journal a gift, so probably won't see this one in my shop. But they are super fun and easy to make, so at least there's that, right? I need to make some more. Everything's good with everybody. Everybody hanging in there. Between the COVID and the election, it's uh, this has got to be the weirdest year in history. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's you know 
different reasons and whatnot, but it's just been bizarro land. I feel like I stepped into an alternate universe much of the time, so I don't know if next year will be any better, but um, I'm ready kind of to have this one done. All I can say is, please don't let it be worse. <laughs> it just seems like it's just been one thing after another. I don't know. I mean, I'm very fortunate and thankful, so don't get me wrong. I don't mean any, like, disrespect or whatever. I just am um, kind of frazzled with all of it. It's become much. So today is my daughter's last band class, so she's kind of bummed about that. They do have a game on or tomorrow or whatever, but uh, that she'll have to go play at, but <laughs> it's gotten so stinking cold here that last week she about froze to death, <laughs> and um, she's like, in some ways I'm glad that part's over, but I mean, they really never had, obviously, a marching season, so she feels gypped in one way, but <clears throat> normally they're done by this time. Um, so, you know, it's not quite as cold generally in the fall, but it has just been a bitterly cold last couple, I don't know, I don't know, just over a week basically around here. It's been misery, so. I'm a wimp though, so, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Because <laughs> I can't stand the cold. <laughs> Because a lot of other places, I'm sure, are far colder. <laughs> but I just don't like it at all. I'm not just like a piece of red. I just have this little bit left from uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. Last year I bought uh, some of her, one of her little kits of Florentine paper. And so, yeah, I just have that little bit left. Let's see if I have a scrap that would work. I just feel like it needs a little something else. You know what would probably work is like a doily. Maybe that's a little turned down. I have, it's like Christmas exploded around here because I have got junk just strewn everywhere. Which is always bad, but it's kind of just the way it is because you're just, well, I don't know, making all different things, you know? And you can't really get put everything away, and then you got to get it out again, and, and on and on and on. See, what I usually do is I'll make a journal and then, you know, clean everything up and then start another one. But with this, because I'm basically using the same stuff again and again, there's not really a point in cleaning it all up, per se. I don't know how I want this. Sorry, I'm kind of struggling. There's not a whole lot of room on the sides. For it. Hmm. I'll just do something like that and then I'll cut off whatever's hanging off kind of thing. <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, it just ends up being like an explosion of Christmas everywhere. And not like in a good way. <laughs> And everybody's kind of in the same boat that does this type of thing. Or really any craft of, you know, making Christmas gifts and things. You end up with all sorts of messes. I haven't in um, a few years, but I used to make... Oh, I forgot to clean out my... I forgot to put the pin in this last night. Um, oh, there it went. So 
sorry, I just had a complete loss of what I was saying. Don't know. Oh, I used to make like um, wool felted Christmas ornaments, which is quite fun. I um, do needle felting, but I haven't done it in a few years, so I'm kind of wondering if I can even do it anymore. But I've done, you know, Santas and snowmen and all that. And it's not anything I've really done on video. I think I did one journal where I used some on the cover. But it's really hard to videotape that because you end up having to just like basically fast forward through the whole thing because you're essentially just poking uh, wool with a needle until it felts. And so that's not something that people just want to sit and watch for hours basically. I mean the outcome is cool but it's not super exciting in the process part. So I pretty much just do my paper crafting for videos. And I have in the past shown like a Santa that I made and things but those are in um, videos from a couple of years ago. But yeah, needle felting is super fun. And if you um, don't know, it's you get wool roving, which is just the wool itself once it's been cleaned and dyed and whatever. And um, then you take special needles with barbs. They have like little barbs on them. And you poke the wool. And you're essentially like sculpting it. So it ends up being kind of like a sculpture in the end. I mean, some of you might be familiar and have done it before, but it's a really cool. So if you haven't, look up um, wool felting or needle felting. So there's barbs that are on the wool itself, naturally in the hair of sheep or whatever that you're getting the wool from, alpaca or all those type of animals. And um, they naturally have barbs on their fur. And then when you poke it with a barbed needle, it makes it tighter and tighter and tighter until it's all, you know, sort of like solid. I mean, it's not solid solid but yeah so anyway it's very fun you can make some very cute Christmas ornaments uh, this is coffee dyed paper from Melody at Willoughby House Hi, Melody. Um, I think I checked yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And she had one pack of her paper left. But I think that she will, if you order it, you know, or get a hold of her, she can make you up a pack if you get there and she doesn't have any listed. Just, con you know, use the contact and talk to her and see. And I'm pretty sure that she will make you some or, you know, get a pack together for you. I think her husband is the one that does it, but yeah, so I may have mentioned that before, but. Okay, I don't really wanna put any type of topper at the top of that, cause that'll impede the closing of the flap on the coin envelope. So probably just gonna kind of have it like that. But I will stitch around that. So that one's all ready to go in there. And you could put a couple of tags really in this. So um, that's kind of a fun part of these sacks from Rachel at Roxy Creations because see they kind of are fat little sacks. Could put something on here too. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Let's see, what do I, did I turn my timer back on? Probably not, no, I'll turn it on now add a, a bit to it. 
Oh, it just gives me an idea, because otherwise I have no idea how long I've been jabbering away or whatever. On there. These are just pages that I have left from last year. This is American Crafts. Um, the Color of Memories. I got a Joanne's. Kind of a cute, the color of memory. But the other one says the same thing, so it just has different numbers on them. See, I have a green one too, and it says the same thing. So it just must be this whole Christmas line that they did. So I'm not sure what just that page is called. If that makes sense. just adds a little color to it and I do like the way I can see the nice straw paper around the edges because I do I love the color of that but I just kind of wanted a little something on there I guess you could have written there before but make sure my sound was still going because I put a bunch of paper over the mouse and it had flicked something up on my screen. Uh, I think I stick it to that same spot. I did that with the last piece and I didn't learn my lesson. That page needs to go away. I went to the dollar store today to get more, um, see if I could find some more books because I'd like to do an altered book. I like to do them around Christmas, you know. And, I mean, I have one I can use, but I was just, just going to grab a couple more. And I really just didn't have any that would work. Because I don't like them if they're too tall or um, have too many pages. I try to stay right around the 300 page area when I'm doing altered books. Because otherwise you can just, <laughs> oh my goodness, it'll like take your whole life to finish it off so um yeah so anyway I was looking for right around that area of size and never never found anything I liked I kind of feel like that needs like a little a circle or something to hold that down I have a whole bunch that I cut because I was doing Christmas packages where you punch a hole in these and then kind of like string them along a string and then when they lay flat on the package you know there's a whole string of them on there just cute so I did that a couple years ago but I have all these <laughs> leftover ones so we could use one of those maybe it was last year I don't know they all kind of um, blur together after a while it seems. Um, which else should we put on there? Kind of feel like the little flap needs just a little piece of something. That'd be kind of cute with the Christmas trees. I don't know. They'd probably get chopped off. But the stars would be cute. I could do the stars. Just have a little something on there. I promise eventually we'll get to the bag here. Kind of got off in the weeds because I was thinking I was done and then I realized I didn't put anything in this um, little pouch here. So I 
wanted to do that. So I'm just going to kind of trace along the side here to get this cut off where I want. Rip it or not. Stink at that. When it's a little like this. Okay, let's we'll see if we did it or not. <laughs> no, it's not that's not awful. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm excited about all the recipes you guys shared with me. That was super kind of you, and I will be trying a few of those out. Some of you even emailed me recipes and everything. It was just very nice. Thank you. It just becomes like, I don't even know. And a lot of the recipes that you guys mentioned, like I've... I've done before but for some reason you just get in this rut and I can't think of anything that sounds good and I don't know what, what that's about but it's kind of a bummer what happens. I feel like this needs to be a little bit thicker so I'm going to take just like this piece of ledger and put it on the back. Oh actually I'm going to use this because it's a little thicker. This is a punch that I have, so I'm going to grab it because my circle cutting skills are much lacking. And this is just a creative memories I've had for probably close to 20 years. <laughs> so, or maybe, yeah, close to 20. And I'm just going to put glue on half of it and leave the other half unglued. That way it can kind of tuck into there. You just need something to help hold that flap down, not flip up all the time, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Oh, I should have turned it the other way. Oh, well, it's going this way. Because that's the way I glued it. Oh, come on. I'm gonna glue it down. I don't even know if that was centered. I just kind of like plopped it right on there. All right, and then I have these that I got from a jewel design. They're super cute little numbers. And there's other pages. I'm not sure if I printed all of them, but um, yeah, I printed that one twice. Anyway, just fun to play with. So um, I thought it might be fun to cut out like a 25 and put it on there. Do I want the bigger one? Maybe that one. So sorry, I am so going to end up cutting a circle here. But I do like having different numbers and things to play with. There, it's a good thing to have around because sometimes you can't think of anything to put on something, and it just needs something. <laughs> and so that's why I think I like the numbers so much. Just like the look of it. Yeah. I don't know, you know, you would think cutting circles would not be that difficult, but you can make them look wonky so fast. And I apologize if you don't like this, just fast forward. It's just all part of the process that we all have to do. I usually try to have stuff like that done, but sometimes if I'm not planning on it, then I don't have it done. Blue strings everywhere. Oh, 
Oh, come on, you little stinker. Let's seriously clear up that pie and now it won't go down. Okay. How did I do that? Yeesh. Should not have been that difficult. So glue maybe a little less than half. <laughs> don't, don't do what I did. Sorry, I had to have a little sip of my Pepsi. It's just so quiet in here. It's so weird when nobody's home now. I, you know, I got used to it when before the whole coronavirus thing because I was very often just me here. But um, now it just is weird. Oh, that's cute. That would be cute. That's from my letters to Santa Digi. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put that up there. And it's an old postcard and it honestly looks like that. It's all jaggedy and messed up. It's so cool. I was so happy when I found that thing at the antique store. And I've shrunk it down, obviously, um, from its size, normal size. So yeah, it was exciting to find that. Um, what am I doing? I really need help. I really need a keeper at this point, I think. like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's done. Now we can work on the bag. Uh, so I got out a piece of jelly paper, which you could make a bag out of that as well, but I used um, wax paper, just regular old wax paper. Folded both sides in, folded the bottom up, cut out the extra flat parts on the inside of the bottom and you know I, I did fold over the edge and glue it down and it's not perfectly straight but if you look at a lot of those kind of bags they're not perfectly straight either so anyway um I thought we would do that rubbing the ink on let's see is this my got paint all over the lid somehow. That was probably when I was doing my, that blue winter <laughs> digi. <laughs> I got paint everywhere. I just need like, you know, a few drops. I don't need a ton. Oh, I'm dangerous with this stuff. I really should not use it. <laughs> just want to age this bag a little more than just you know, using the ink pad itself. Kind of gives it that. Well, we've done this before. I've done this with you guys. If you've watched my videos for a while. If not, um, then this is new to you. <laughs> but it's just the, you know, refill uh, Distress Ink and it's Vintage Photo from Tim Holtz Ranger. And um, if you rub it all over like this, it gives it kind of that cool, I don't know if you've ever seen those um, kind of like parchment-y wax paper-ish um, bags that they use like in books. You know, they're sort of like envelopes. I'm getting my fingerprints on here, so I should probably do something like this. Um, oh my gosh, Amy Brain, come on. It just has the age, you know, the patina on it. And so that's kind of what this is mimicking. I'm going to throw out two pages, book page. And I just love the look of that. 
on this wax paper. And you got kind of got to like let it dry because it is uh, water soluble. That Tim Holtz. If you use the alcohol inks, then you wouldn't have that problem. But I don't have any of those, so I just use this. And it works. So but I really like how it gives it that old yellowy patina on it. I never realized how hard it was for me to um, talk and work until I started to do YouTube videos <laughs> because generally I would just be here normally mostly myself and then um, you know you don't have to talk or whatever so you just don't realize until you start doing videos and then you're like wow I really cannot do two things at the same time. <laughs> Even though I feel like I can multitask, I can't talk and concentrate at the same time, that's for sure. But I don't think I'm alone because I notice when I watch other people, you know, crafting, when you get to those points where they're trying to concentrate, they can't uh, speak as freely or think of things. And it's just like you're using your brain already, so it can't, can't just talk away, you know? Sorry, just trying to get my hands dry here. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to do to that part. And then I have a doily, and I just found these at the dollar store, so they're nothing, you know, super hard to find or anything. Because I, I generally don't find doilies that are um, Christmassy. Like, I can find plain ones around here, but I generally don't find... The printed ones and so today when I was there looking for books and I got some tissue paper I spotted these and was like oh cool <laughs> so this will work perfect I'm just using up the ink that's on this sponge on this because I don't want it super aged looking but just a little bit so it's not so brassy like Uh, Farago just did a really cool man's journal using my rest and numbers digi and it turned out really cool. I really want to play with that but I'm probably not going to get to it until after the first of the year because it just seems like you know it's rolling right right down to the Christmas time thing. So there's that and that and then I thought this I cut out of a greeting card a different set of greeting cards um, last year because I was using them for packaging and stuff and um, so I was going to put a little bit I was going to sand that a little bit do I have my piece of sandpaper I had everything like so nicely organized and knew where everything was and then I don't know what happens, but it just gets destroyed again. Um, but yeah, I cut this out of a greeting card using my Big Shot die cut machine. I just have that 
I don't have any other fancy die cut machines. I just have the Big Shot. I do have the first, you know, generation or whatever you want to call it, Cricut, but um, I really never use it much anymore because and it needs new the little sticky mats and just all that and I I don't know I just don't use it <laughs> and I haven't wanted to go find the little things for that I used it for a lot of years but I like using these sponges if you're using something kind of smooth, but they get, um, I don't want to put too much ink on the snowman, I kind of want a little, a little bit of white. I just don't like it when they're so, these cards are so shiny. So um, like I put tissue paper over the ones in the, in the book, and I thought about doing that, but with all those little hearts, I just thought, it's not going to work and it'll just be a big pain in the hiney. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the um, jelly paper so that you can see a little bit better the color and everything on that. So that's what we got for our journal to go inside of. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. I do kind of prefer it for the doilies because it's easier to get around all the little spaces and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for all your support on my um, digi that I just put out the winter one. You guys are so sweet and supportive and I really appreciate it. I like doing those winter ones because I I like using the paint, that white paint with it. I think that's super fun. So that's kind of a, a fun one to do. Even though winter's not really my thing. I do enjoy doing that. Oh, what am I doing? Um actually on the back of that I think I will use tacky glue. It's a bit bigger. Not as fragile. I'm not going to worry too, too much about the edges there. I think they'll be fine if they're not completely down. And you don't have to do these bags for these journals. It's just, I really think it adds something to it, you know. It just gives, you know, makes a nice gift if you want to do it as a gift. Or if you're going to, you know, keep it somewhere, it's nice to just have a little spot for it. I had to get glue on there, of course. Okay, so I'm going to check that because my daughter's um, wasn't her sorry <laughs> I just like to check when they're not here because like I've told you guys before I just if they need something I want to get that into tacky and I it up. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through this a little bit just so you guys can see what we got you saw my little cover here and then in this pocket, there's two tags. And this is just to, you know, give you an idea of what to do with it. I mean, of course you can do whatever you want with it. I may add like another piece of paper here to journal on. And there's two tags in here. And I used a Jewel Designs numbers there and there. 
and then oh, gosh, I found plastic. No. And then there's our fabric pocket that we made with the tag to go in it. And the one we just did. And this uh, page I did collage in this one too. There's quite a bit of writing space in here though. For It's a simple journal. It's not meant to be, you know, write a whole year's worth of information or something. And then this is one of my um, book pages where I take a whole book page. This one I cut down a little. You can kind of tell it looks almost square. But I fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So it's as simple as that. It's just one book page folded in half, folded in half again. And then I just, you know, make little writing spots or whatever on each one of those. And you could decorate it more if you wanted to. But so that's the back with the Santa on there. So yeah, just kind of fun little thing to tuck in a pocket. And there's this one. And I just did uh, one of those little um, thing that I got this idea from Dee Dee Farrago. And she made these with the little note spot inside and it just slides in and out. And she did them as paper clips and I thought it would be fun to, you know, leave one without a paper clip and use it kind of as a tucker pocket or whatever. So that just slides back in there. And this is one of the fabric journaling cards that we did. And there's a writing spot you could write in here. Oh my goodness, dude. See, the problem is I have too much packaging around on the floor right now, and he's, that's his favorite thing. So there's a little altered card here, and a tag, and I just added that December, that's Tim Holtz, and then another one of our fabric tags, oh, that one's getting, you know, what we should do is put a little glue so that it doesn't do that. Doesn't bend up like that. Yeah, that cat is just a complete nut for plastic. He, like, cannot stop licking it. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's, like, just quit. That one, and I added a little piece of, like, you know, writing paper there. Okay, so that is it. And that was, what was it, five cards? Yeah, five cards, and then I added this little flip here. So that's all that that is. And it'll just go into the bag after we tie the little bow. So definitely um, a lot of you have said that you have lots of like vintage cards or you know Christmas cards from the past or anniversary cards or birthday cards or whatever that you've kept and those would make just really neat keepsakes and a fun way to have it because you could set it somewhere and display it and then people could look at it. I just think that, yeah, it's a really fun thing to do, and then you don't feel like you just have these boxes of cards that you're never going to do anything with. I'm actually going to pull this like this and this. It's always the tricky part, putting it in the bag, right? And pray that you don't tear That's the only problem with putting the, like, fat doilies on there, <laughs> is it wants to get caught on everything. But there she is, all done. And I just think that's just fun. So, I mean, wouldn't you like to get a gift like that? I sure would. I love stuff like that. All handmade and just nicely presented and everything. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have an awesome evening. Um, and lots of love to your families and everything. I know it's crazy right now. And so, I just praying for all of you and I know that you guys are so awesome that you do the same for me so thank you thank you love you guys bye bye now